The target structure for this lecture is had better. So first of all, let's look at the example sentence and the meaning for had better. Look at this example. Your sickness is getting worse. We had better go to the doctor today. So what's the meaning of had better in this example? Had better means that you should do something. If you don't do this thing, there will be a problem or danger in the future. Had better is very similar to should. We use should to give advice to people, okay, to say what we think someone else should do. So, I think you should buy this dress because it looks pretty. However, had better is different to should because if we give someone advice using had better, if they don't follow the advice, there will be a problem or danger. Do you understand? So that's the difference. Should is for general advice. If I say to my friend, you should try this chocolate bar. It's delicious. If he doesn't follow this advice, there's no problem or danger. It just means he doesn't eat the chocolate bar. But if I say to someone, your sickness is getting worse, you had better visit the doctor. In this case, had better means if you don't follow this, there is a problem or danger that could happen. So if you don't go to the doctor, what is the problem or danger that could occur? The sickness could get worse. Um, they might develop another illness and they could, God forbid, die. So there are many problems or dangers if you don't go to the doctor when you have a sickness. Now, the problem or danger doesn't always have to be very, very serious, like death or sickness. Another example I'll give you is this one. Imagine there's a very, very busy Italian restaurant that I want to visit. I say to my friend, let's visit the Italian restaurant. However, it's very, very busy. So, we had better book a table in advance. So, why did I use had better? Because there's a problem or danger that might happen if we don't book the table. Now, the problem is quite small. It just means we won't be able to eat at the restaurant if we don't book in advance. But a small problem is okay. We can still use had better in this situation. So, let's move on to the structure of this grammar. So the structure for had better in the positive is simply had better plus a basic verb like walk, see or go. So the example sentence that you can see below reads, we had better leave now, otherwise we will be late. So you can see had better plus leave. Leave is the basic verb. Now look at the negative structure for had better. The negative structure is had better plus not plus a basic verb. So the example says, you had better not be late for work. There is an important meeting today. So you can see the structure, it's highlighted in bold, had better plus not plus be, which is the basic verb. And finally, the question structure. This is quite rare. We don't often use 
had better in a question form, but we sometimes use it. So here is the structure. Structure for had better in the question form is hadn't plus I, he, she, etc. So you can put a pronoun here or a name of a person plus better plus a basic verb. So the question below says, hadn't we better drive? It's quite far to walk. Let me highlight one thing about the question form for had better. It's usually used as a negative. So you saw the structure hadn't plus pronoun or name plus better. So hadn't we better drive? Now the negative actually means positive. It's strange, but this is the way English works sometimes. English is a strange language. So if I say to my friend, it's very, very cold outside. Hadn't we better drive to work? I've used the negative, hadn't we better drive? But I'm saying, I think it's a good idea to drive. I'm not saying, I don't think we should drive. I'm saying, we should drive. So just remember that. If we use had better in the question, it's usually negative, but the negative means positive. It means, I think we should do this. Let me give you another example to make it clearer for you. If I see some children playing on a busy street, which is very, very dangerous, I can say to those children, hadn't you better go to the park? It's much safer. So I use the negative, hadn't you better go to the park? But this negative means you should go to the park. I think it's a good idea. If you don't follow this advice, there will be some dangerous situation or problem that could occur. So let's move on to the next lecture. See you there.